Hi guys, so I've just done a two-part video on uh, my osteopath session last Saturday and this one's um, focusing on my week since so I'll try and keep it brief but lots has changed and happened since then um, so I thought I'd talk you through it a bit and you can see what it's like <laughs> to suddenly have all of your chakras opened um, not have any blockages and for me it was this part because that was blocked so I wasn't letting anything go up to my headspace so it's like I've grown <laughs> by an extra fifth of my body I've got taller I've got like more to handle and deal with um, very odd sensation um, on the Sunday morning um, so I had the osteopath was Saturday night and then Sunday morning I came to the yurt here um, to do my yoga session um, kind of outside so it was raining but I still wanted to be in my own space in with the elements as it were um, and I'm going to show you a picture <laughs> which I drew because um, I was doing uh, my new spiral sitting um, technique as well as um, breathing techniques and um, just various things um, and I, I was very calm very at peace very centered and this kind of vision came to me um, near the end of my practice and I'll talk you through it. <laughs> so can you see that? It's a very odd drawing. Okay, so this part here came to me first. So it was almost like a little mouth or something and it was all dark, black. And then there was like this really thin, pointy, long tongue coming out and it was a very kind of horrible vision. It wasn't a nice feeling when I was seeing that. Um, and then that went away and um, and then I saw the middle part so it was almost like a, just a very simple shape a bit pointy um, and then this ball of orangey pinky ready light was like traveling in towards that shape almost like the mouth was eating it um, and that kind of happened quite a few times and then this this mouth shape kind of got bigger and longer like this and then the same thing happened, it just kind of kept eating all this kind of light and vibration and uh, whatever it was that was going in and like taken in by this mouth. And then when all that um, dissipated and went away, um, I put grand soleil, um, rose, orange, remplir ma vision. So in English that's, it basically turned into this huge, bright, glistening, vibrant sun like mass that was in front of me um, but kind of loads of light um, and that just kind of filled everything and it was just a really nice ending this beautiful sight that I was just kind of experiencing and was like there just filling me up with light a really nice colour so that was rather lovely <laughs> Um, Emmanuel, my osteopath, also suggested to me um, to finish differently than I had been in the past. It just came up in conversation that when I bow down, um, I start by thanking Argash, which is space, um, basically, and, and allow me to sit here in the space. I've talked about this in a previous video, and then I would um, go in this order. And he was like, well, you need to start with yourself. So um, I've been doing that all week. So I thank myself for sitting here on this mat today. Um, and then I thank all my friends and my family um, for guiding me on this um, healing journey. Um, I thank my yoga teachers of past, present and future um, for, for all that they give me and have given me and will give me. Um, I thank um, the people that are directly trying to heal me at the moment. Um, I've got three people at the moment, but I'm sure that will become more in the near future um, with the various ideas and plans I have in my mind <laughs> and um, and then I and then I thank Arakash for allowing me to sit here in this space um, and I just kind of acknowledge the kind of cosmos all around me and that is inside of me and connect with that before I kind of get up and walk away and carry on with my day um, so for me, that's kind of my way of grounding and moving on. 
So every morning since my session, I've basically found that um, I could quite quickly um, feel like all of my chakras and the energy in my body was completely kind of open and flowing and moving as it should. So I'd feel really, really great at the end. And like I was filled up with this immense power source, you know, I connected with this powerful source. Um, but then as the day wore on, I would find that this power would easily just kind of diminish and dissipate. Um, and some days just to nothing, so much so that it's almost like I'm having a panic attack and I've got zero energy and I can't move. And I'm like, where's all that energy gone from this morning? <laughs> um, so I don't know if it's because I'm dealing with these other chakras that I'm now connected with that I'm just kind of not in control of. Um, but um, something has to change because it's happened again today and it's getting me down big time because I start so wonderfully and then quickly poof, I can just be like, like someone's just, I don't know, chopped my head off or something and I just keel over. <laughs> but not necessarily just my head, but like just anywhere. I just like poof, totally drained. Um, so it's a real, real shift um, for me energetically. Um, I need to find techniques where I can kind of hold on to what I've created that morning with my yoga practice and kind of keep that vital life force going. Um, I've also had another nightmare. That was last night, I think I had a nightmare. Um, and um, I never normally have nightmares. Where are these nightmares coming from? Crazy. They're really horrible as well. And I, I wake up and Robin wakes up because I'm moving around or I'm making noise. It's not pleasant. Um, I've also had to find a new doctor because my other GP was not doing it for me in various ways. Um, I didn't like his style at all. Um, too touchy-feely for my liking. Um, he was he kept kind of like playing games like pretend I'm your father and various things I'm like okay well yeah but no <laughs> you're not gonna be my father and he was like well find someone who can be your father in your life I was like no I just don't I just don't get this so I found someone else that's going to be a temporary doctor um, because I want to change my lithium um, from prolonged release which is what I'm on at the moment, to possibly, um, oh, I can't remember the name now, I've got a lot more research to do, um, but I have recently been talking to someone who said that it could be easier to withdraw from lithium if you're on a different type of tablet. Even though it's still lithium, it would be a different way of taking it. Um, so I need to um, research that a lot more before I talk to you about that. Um, but I'm thinking that could be rather exciting change. Um, another very strange thing that happened was um, my period came two weeks early than it normally does. So instead of being on the full moon, it was on the new moon, or just after. So I'm thinking, is that because of the, the start of spring and that's new energy has like changed my whole hormonal makeup? Um, is it my new practice of doing spirals? Um, is it the fact that I've now got an open throat chakra um, most of the time? It was extremely confusing to have that happen. Um, so yeah, I was a bit like, what is going on? <laughs> so this um, being energetically open and keeping my good vibrations going and flowing through the day um, and revitalizing my source um, is something I want to talk to you more about because I basically sent an email to my osteopath um, who helps me in emails as well as um, when we're face to face and he gives me advice and basically I'm going to be translating to you what he wrote to me because I found it really helpful and interesting. Um, so he said um, that the more you practice yoga or the more that we, because you probably practice yoga too, the more that we practice yoga, the more we become sensitive um, to the finer nuances 
um, within our physical body and within our energetic bodies. Um, and I totally get that. Um, through the 23 years now that I've been practicing yoga, um, every year, every month, every week, every day um, has more depth and sensation that can happen on a finer and finer and more subtle level. Um, so I would say that at the moment when I'm doing my yoga, I'm, I'm so hypersensitive um, during and after. Um, and he said that it would be fine if we lived in the forest. <laughs> There'd be no problems. Um, but we don't live in the forest. We live in a society um, where all sorts of things are going on around us and we have to constantly adapt to what's changing around us. Um, and this can be hard to do. Um, so the, he said that this is a chance for us, for me, for us to, to be more creative, um, more adaptable and more spontaneous in the way that we interact with life. Um, and that I need to learn how to better control my energies. Um, and, um, at the same time, reducing my negative emotions. So I'm getting a lot more negative emotions happening within me and somehow I need to find a way to reduce those. Um, as this negative emotion is all consuming and it really, really kind of heavily uses up um, your vital life force that you've created that morning. Um, so it kind of drains you, your, your negative emotions drain your vital um, energy that you had beforehand that was so positive and because I'm bipolar um, I oscillate more from the highs and the lows and, uh, and more so than a normal person would that doesn't have bipolar they would still have ups and downs but I feel that more intensely um, So he said, be more conscious of all the little signs and signals that your body shows you. Um, especially um, coming up to kind of a, a feeling of being more down, a down moment. So really notice what those signs and signals are. Because the faster you notice those, then um, the much better you'll be able to regulate these things um, later on. And you get used to learning how to cope with that. Um, so attention is needed with that, uh, but he said, you know, once you have that attention, then it really does work because you're then able to do something about that negative path downwards that's happening within you. Um, he also said, observe, observe which activities that you do in your daily life, what nourishes you and what empties you, what drains you. So those two sides. Um, so he said what nourishes you, you can um, you know, encourage all of those things that you do and do loads of it with, without any limit. Don't restrict what nourishes you. Um, and those things that empty and drain you of energy then try and reduce those things in your life. And if you can't reduce those things in your life, then you need to find a way to adapt in those scenarios and situations. And I'm moving on to the next page. It was a long email. Hang on a second. I've just realised I've been talking for over 14 minutes. <laughs> That's a really long time. So I'm going to do a part two to this um, video about um, my week and the email I got from Emmanuel because it's still really interesting and I want you to see um, what he's talked about and um, I'm going to do that in another video. See you soon, bye!